Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Muhammad Majid and today we will discuss the very important and very interesting conceptual question and eta MCQs on the Gauzy's law. So we have studied the Gauzy's law in our previous lecture, if you remember, that was the net electric flux through any closed surface, this is the net electric flux through any closed surface is equal to total charge enclosed by that surface divided by the permittivity. In case of vacuum, it is epsilon naught. So if you have any closed surface and there is a charge Q inside this surface, then how we can find out the electric flux through this surface that is very simple Q by epsilon naught. So today we will use the Gauss's law and I am going to discuss some of the very important conceptual question uh, on the Gauss's law. Again, some of the students have already asked many questions in the WhatsApp group or by email. So let me discuss it. Question number one, that's very simple. A closed surface contains equal and opposite charges. The electric flux through the closed surface is. Ye question kuch ito ke papers mein aaya hua hai. Ye hi question uh, in case of the engineering jo papers hai. So a closed surface contain equal and opposite charges. For example, aap ke paas koi bhi closed surface hai. Or us closed surface mein two charges hai. Equal and opposite like you have any closed surface it may be in the form of sphere or it may be in the form of the cube so you have a closed surface and this surface contain equal and opposite charges for example one charge is plus q the other is minus q contain two equal and opposite charges then the question is the electric flux through the closed surface is. Electric flux kya hoga is closed surface se. So the idea is again very simple. Uh, the Gauss's law is this net electric flux equal to Q by epsilon naught. Q is the total charge enclosed. This is the total charge enclosed in the surface. So what would be the answer? That's very easy. The charge enclosed by this surface is one is plus Q, the other is minus Q, so the total charge enclosed, it is zero. So this charge is zero, here the net charge, the total charge, it is plus Q and minus Q, so that is zero. So this means the flux is zero. So the correct, op correct option is zero. So the net flux would be zero in case of the two equal and opposite charges so that's very simple again for example agar aapke paas do charges hai one is let for example it is 3 q and the other is minus q then what would be answer then the net flux would be 3 q minus q so answer us case mein aapke paas if this is plus 3 q and this is minus q to answer yahan se aapke paas aa jayega 2 q Clear? So then net electric flux total charge enclosed by epsilon naught. So different MCQs are sakte hai using the Gauss's law. If you know the net charge enclosed, then uh, you can find out easily the net electric flux. So uh, let's come to the question two. Uh, that is, uh, for example, if you have a Q. If a charge Q is placed at the center of a cube, you have a cube uh, and you know cube uh, has six uh, faces. So if you have a, Q, a charge Q that is placed at the center of a cube, then find out the electric flux through any face of the cube. For example, you have a cube like this one you have a cube shape this is cube shape you know this cube uh, has six faces one two three four five and six 
so uh, the cube have uh, generally you know, already you have uh, studied about the cube so this is one phase two three four five six so you have a charge you have inside uh, the cube and that is uh, at the center of the cube uh, for example you have any charge body and that is here at the center it is at the center of the cube so what would be the flux through one phase of cube so that's again uh, very interesting and uh, simple question you can find out it very easily using the Gauss's law and what would be solution of this one so question two solution we know this thing, we know Gauss's law, the net electric flux that is equal to Q by epsilon naught, the total charge enclosed and divided by the epsilon naught. So the total charge here it is Q and that is at the center of the cube. So the charge is at the center of the cube, so the flux is going out through, through this whole surface that is in the form of cube, so and cube has six spaces. So net electric flux, this is Q by epsilon naught. So here in this case, you have total six spaces. So the electric flux through, that is the net flux, electric flux through six phases, that is equal to Q by epsilon naught. This is total electric flux given by the Gauss's law. You have uh, any shape, it may be sphere, it uh, may be cube, or it may be another uh, shape. So the net electric flux is Q by epsilon naught. I have told you in detail that this question is what is So you study the Gauss's law lecture in detail, then uh, I hope then you can understand this thing electric flux through the six spaces. That is equal to Q by epsilon naught. So what we have to find out? We have to find out the electric flux through any one phase. One phase say we have electric flux find out. Karna hoga. Ke yahan se is phase se electric flux kya hoga. So you can easily find out this thing. The electric flux through single phase. That will equal to Q divided by 6 epsilon naught. You divide it by 6. Clear? So single phase say you have flux kya hoga? Q divided by 6 epsilon naught. Clear? From all the 6 passes you have Q by epsilon naught. So just divided by 6. So um, I have another question uh, related to the question number 2 or a question again asked by one of the student or yeah question it MCQs may be a hai. Question ye ta, uh, for example, agar charge ki value given hai. Question is, that is related with this uh, question number two. Or question ye hai, let me write it simply. If you have, for example, the charge is given, F Q is equal to 1 micro coulomb. This uh, Q is given, it is uh, 1 simple micro coulomb or Q micro coulomb. So, it's placed at the center of a cube of a side 0 0.1 meter, then the electric flux diverging from each base. Question very simple. Is it a syrup? You have pass charge ki value given hai? clear. Or you have to tell you that question may ask the question hai, ki electric flux is se kya hoga. So you use just the simple formula. Agar center, for example, you have pass cube hai, you have a cube, or cube ke center pe yaha pe charge. Clear? The, the, the charge is at the center of the cube, or charge ki magnitude given hai. 1 micro coulomb so each phase pe aapke paas uh, flux kya hoga aur wo already humne find out kiya 6 phases pe kyo by epsilon naught hai so flux through single phase 
of cube that is equal to q by 6 epsilon naught. So you just put the value of q that is 1 micro coulomb 1 into 10 raised to power minus 6 coulomb divided by 6 epsilon naught. So that would be the correct answer that's very easy. Next uh, question 3 already I have written on the board and that is again related with the Gauss's law and with the cube or oh, this question is very interesting uh, we will study different cases in question 3 and yahan se aapka concept clear ho jayega question 3 is what will be the total electric flux through the faces of a cube condition of kya hai the same you have a cube clear or up condition different charge pe given hai the charge is placed first one dekh le at the corner of the cube you have a cube this one and the charge is placed at the corner of the cube so let this yellow one i consider this yellow ball this is the charge and it is at the corner so again then what will be the electric flux electric flux ki value kya hogi if the charge is at the middle so you have a q let me clean the board So you have a charge Q at the corner of the Q that this is the corner here you have the charge Q this is A point A यहाँ पे आपके पास charge Q है तो electric flux क्या होगा clear so you have this cube yahan pe aapke paas charge hai to total electric flux kya hoga now uh, we have to apply the gauss's law gauss's law hum apply karenge in order to uh, calculate the net electric flux to is case mein ye charge jo hai it is at the corner isse pehle case mein wo center pe tha so you is you uh, aapne easily find out kiya the electric flux yahan pe uh, this charge it is at the corner so you have to enclose this charge gauss's law kya hai the electric flux is equal to charge enclosed divided by the epsilon naught so yahan pe aapne charge ko enclose karna hoga so charge enclosed kis tarah hoga ye jo cube hoga ye jo charge hoga that must be equally shared by the eight further eight cubes uh, how let me explain it's very simple this is another cube so agar aapne is charge ko enclose karna hai to aapne ek cube yahan pe rakhna hoga theek hai do ho jayenge ek yahan pe clear aur ek phir is side pe char aur char phir niche hone chahiye so you must need eight further cubes in order to enclose this charge for example this is at the corner you need another cube here clear this is one another here another so four and four at the front faces so you need eight uh, further cubes in order to enclose this charge so the answer would be answer kya hoga this charge is enclosed uh, equally shared uh, in case of the eight cube so the net electric flux that is the gauss's law that is q by epsilon naught so in this case this electric flux is equally shared by the 8 cube so i would write it very simple electric flux through 8 cubes that is equal to q by epsilon naught q is the charge enclosed by uh, these eight cubes so the electric flux through single cube electric flux through single cube that is equal to q by eight epsilon naught so the correct option is this one 
क्लियर ये क्वेश्चन सेपरेट भी आ सकता है अगर आपके पास एक चार्ज कॉर्नर पे हो तो आपने इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स के सारा कैलकुलेट करना होगा सो इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स अगेन क्यों बाय एट एफ्स आर नॉट इन केस दिस अगर कॉर्नर पे हो रिमेंबर इसे पहले सेंटर पे था तो फेस से ए क्यों डिवाइड बाई सिक्स एफ्स आर नॉट था नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन जो सेकेंड पार्ट है मिड पॉइंट ऑफ एन इज ऑफ क्यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये आपके पास क्यूब है चार्ज कॉर्नर पे नहीं है चार्ज इस मिड पॉइंट पे है मिड पॉइंट ऑफ एन इज ऑफ द क्यूब दीज आर डिफरेंट इजेज ऑफ द क्यूब अगर चार्ज यहाँ पे मिड पॉइंट पे है बी सो देन व्हाट वुड बी द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस सो अगेन लेट मी ड्रॉ द क्यूब दिस इज द क्यूब इनिशियल केस वॉज दिस वन ए पॉइंट पे था नेक्स्ट बी अगर यहाँ पे हो मिडल पे हो चार्ज को आप पॉइंट बी पे रखेंगे देन अगेन वॉट वुल यू आंसर इन दिस केस अगेन इफ यू हैव टू इनक्लोज द चार्ज चार्ज को अगर आपने इनक्लोज करना हो चार्ज यहाँ पे है मिडल पे तो एक क्यूब यहाँ पे आ जाएगा दिस इज इनक्लोज लेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक क्यूब यहाँ पे आ जाएगा क्लियर चार्ज यहाँ सेंटर पे चार्ज इज हेयर सो एक क्यूब यहाँ पे आ जाएगा दो हो जाएंगे क्लियर आपने चार्ज को इनक्लोज करना होगा सो बिलो यहाँ पे दो क्यूब आ जाएंगे एक क्यूब यहाँ पे और एक यहाँ पे सो टोटल क्यूब्स आर फोर इन दिस केस इफ द चार्ज इज एट द मिड और मिड पॉइंट ऑफ एन इज ऑफ द क्यूब इन आर्डर टू इनक्लोज दिस चार्ज द यू नीड फोर क्यूब्स क्लियर सो दिस चार्ज इस इज द नेट इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स इज इक्वली शेयर एमंग ऑल दिस फोर क्यूब्स सो इसका आंसर अगेन यू कैन इजिली फाइंड आउट दिस इज ए बी द सेम लाइक दिस थिंग इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स थ्रू इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स थ्रू फोर क्यूब्स इक्वल टू क्यों बाय आप सलान नाट सो सिंगल के लिए क्या आ जाएगा आपने सिंगल के लिए फाइंड आउट करना है देख थ्रू दी फेसेज ऑफ अ क्यूब सिंगल क्यूब के लिए आपके पास आंसर आ जाएगा फोर पे डिवाइड करें फॉर सिंगल क्यूब दैट इज क्यों डिवाइड बाय फोर आप सलान नाट क्लियर नेक्स्ट फॉर सी सेंटर ऑफ अ फेस ऑफ अ क्यूब इससे पहले जो क्वेश्चन था क्वेश्चन टू उस पर था सेंटर ऑफ द क्यूब अब क्वेश्चन है सेंटर ऑफ द फेस ऑफ द क्यूब ये फेस ऑफ द क्यूब है दिस वन फेस ऑफ द क्यूब और आपने चार्ज को यहाँ पे सेंटर पे रखा ठीक है इस फेस के सेंटर पे रखा सो नेक्स्ट वट लैक्स दिस इज द सी पॉइंट दिस सी पॉइंट और आप चार्ज को यहाँ पे रखते हैं सेंटर पे दिस इज सी पॉइंट सो देन यू नीड ओनली वन क्यूब एन अदर वन क्यूब टू इन आर्डर टू इनक्लोज दिस चार्ज क्लियर यहाँ पे आपको एक और क्यूब चाहिए सो इसका करेक्ट आंसर क्या होगा यू कैन सिंपली कैलकुलेट दिस सी पॉइंट जो है इलेक्ट्रिक प्लग्स थ्रू इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स थ्रू टू क्यूब्स इक्वल टू क्यों बाप सलान नॉट गॉजला सो सिंगल के लिए क्या आ जाएगा फॉर सिंगल दिस वुड बी क्यों डिवाइड बाय टू एप सलान नॉट द आंसर करेक्ट आंसर इज टू एप सलान नॉट नेक्स्ट लास्ट वन मिड पॉइंट ऑफ बी एंड सी यू हैव टू पॉइंट्स दिस इज बी दिस इज सी अगर आपने चार्ज को इसके मिड पॉइंट पे रख दिया बी और सी के दरमियान यू पुट द चार्ज हेयर एट द मिड पॉइंट यहां पे यू पुट चार्ज हेयर एट द मिड पॉइंट बी एंड सी यहां पे आपने चार्ज रख दिया देन अगेन फॉर द डी ऑप्शन द करेक्ट ऑप्शन वुड बी Kio by two epsilon naught. The same is for C because if you change the position 
ऑफ द चार्ज बॉडी अगर आप चार्ज बॉडी की पोजीशन चेंज करते हैं देन फ्लक्स पे फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा अगेन इट इज देन इनक्लोज बाय द टू क्यूब्स फॉर एग्जांपल अगेन कुछ क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट ने भी यही क्वेश्चन पूछा हुआ है अगर हम चार्ज का पोजीशन चेंज करते हैं यूट्यूब पे कमेंट्स में क्वेश्चन था आज बाय वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट अगर आप चार्ज का पोजिशन चेंज करते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव एनी चार्ज इट इज़ हेयर एट द सेंटर और इट इज़ हेयर चार्ज का पोजिशन चेंज करते हैं विद इन द सेम क्लोज सरफेस क्लोज सरफेस एक ही है और आप उसमें चार्ज का पोजिशन चेंज करते हैं देन देर इज नो चेंज ऑन द फ्लक्स सो डेट इज फॉर टूडे वील अगेन डिस्कस सम ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एम्सिकूज इन आवर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट लेक्चर सो के बाय